thanks for tuning in. Today's topic, we're going to talk about pollination and how that plays into effect with aquaponics. Now, if your system is outside and you have bees and pollinators readily available, then this video may not help you out much. But if you're like many of us and your aquaponics system is in an enclosed space or a mostly contained space like ours is, we still have some gaps, as you can see, and up at the roof, but we don't get enough bees or pollinators into our aquaponics area to help all the plants pollinate and start producing fruit or vegetable. And so that's what today's topic's all about. So as you can see, my squash looks amazing. We've got about half a dozen blooms on there. The problem is, as great as the plant looks, as healthy as it is, it's not producing fruit. Now, there's a reason on this one, and really, we just don't have any female flowers popping up. Most of them are all male. We've had one female flower, and that's it. And so, most likely, this will never produce fruit. Now, if the plants have male and female flowers, you can self-pollinate. Now, what is self-pollination? Well, it's a number of things, but it's really quite easy. And so we'll jump into that. So to self-pollinate, you need this. Simple paintbrush, small, doesn't have to be large, but this is going to help you self-pollinate. Now, not all plants and vegetables, fruits and vegetables, have to be self-pollinated or help with pollination if there are a number of plants that pollinate on their own, peppers, tomatoes can, but they will still need some assistance. Now, once those handful of plants start flowering what you can do is what they call a subtle shake now what that is is basically once it's flowered you can come in here and just sort of help shake it get that pollen out and it will help pollinate the male and female just like humans so how do you tell what's male what's not well just as you guessed that right there would be a male flower. Now, if it doesn't have that, and it's all the way in, guess what, it's a female. So, when you're working on an aquaponic system that has an enclosure, know that unless you decide to add a ton of butterflies or bees, if you're that brave, that you to self-pollinate. So, at the end of the day, that's where the extra work comes in. You need to be aware of it because there's no point in planting everything if you're not going to have any return. Unless you just like to look at all the flowers and the plants and everything else. Which in that case, enjoy. Because plants will do amazing in it. So that is part of the reason that we've scaled back a little bit on growing as much fruit and vegetable we're just doing enough to get through our household instead of turning around and sell it we've switched to doing more of a house plant just because we've been working hard at taking clippings making them into mother plants which we will continue to take clippings off of and so that way we have plants that we can turn around and sell and make this a profitable business now we still are going to have our fruits and vegetables as you can see from this got our mustards that's our melon and of course our squash our shishito peppers so if you're wondering why your plants aren't producing fruit or vegetable take a look at self-pollinating 
There's plenty of great articles on the internet. Do yourself a favor, do a little research because it is extra work that you may not have been expecting. You may have just thought, hey, start the system, check the water levels, and leave it and go. That's not the case. So if you have any questions, make sure to leave us a comment below with your question. How did you approach this? Have you ran into this?